Welcome guys, my name is Soulmount64 and today we're talking about how to unlock the knives, the pipe, the golf club, all that good stuff in Battlefield Hardline. There's a lot of really unique knives and if you guys have seen the knife animations at all or been knifed by any of them, they are really damn epic. Anyways, how to unlock it. They unfortunately are only unlockable via battle packs. There's the one $5,000 knife that you can get, but the rest of them are going to be from battle packs, at least the regular ones. Now, I got a cheeky way to get some gold ones here I'm going to be talking about, but that's how it's mainly unlocked. And they're $50,000 per gold battle pack if you just want to buy them, which is quite a steep price, especially for how rare it is for weapons to drop from them. I do know a couple people who have gotten them, so it is possible, but it is extremely rare, and I know of guys who spent a million dollars with no luck of getting a dagger. Well, there's a pretty cool workaround to at least get two of the daggers, plus their gold. You can get the gold knife as well as the gold boot, plus you can get the gold gol golf club, all from just playing the hacker mode. Now, if you unlock these or any of the other golden weapons or knives, they actually won't count towards the main assignments. So if you're trying to get the assignments for knives or anything like on the side, they actually won't count towards it. So do keep that in mind, at least that's everything that I've seen about it. But the unlocks that I'm talking about in particular here are referring to the hat assignments. If you guys look through the syndicate assignments, there's a white hat, black hat, and gray hat assignment. That's where you get these three from. The way to unlock these assignments is pretty much just grind out the hacker mode. Prerequisite 1 requires you to do hacker assignment 1, which is get 5 bronze service stars as hacker. After you complete that, you'll get assignment 2 as hacker, which requires you to get 5 silver service stars. In addition, you need to get your GPS spotting up to version 5. Interesting enough, the way to upgrade these versions of all the different uh, abilities that you can use is not from using them, it's just from getting service stars, at least according to this IGN post and from uh, other people that have actually already got these hats unlocked and worked through hacker mode have told me. So once you get to 13 gold service stars with the hacker, then you can start working towards the full assignments for these three hats. The Black Hat Syndicate will probably be one of the first ones that you guys will want to work on, with the Gold Golf Club being the reward. You'll need to already have the Hacker 2 assignment complete, which of course you'll have. You'll need to have your back door upgraded to version 5, as well as your GPS jamming upgraded to version 5. Now, fortunately, by the time you get the Hacker Assignment 2 complete, when you get to the 13 gold service stars that you need for GPS spotting, both of those two will already be up to version 5, requiring uh, 8 and 9 service stars, respectively. So, this will already be unlocked once you get the Hacker 2 assignment complete. Those being, of course, the prerequisites. After you've got that, you can start working towards the final pieces. Now they'll actually require you to start focusing on specific things. In this case, the GPS jamming, as well as the backdoor coins, which is hacking into all the different things on the ground, spotting people using the cameras, etc. As well as 10 hacker Trojan coins, which you get for having the enemy hacker hacked into a camera and then you overhack them or you... Uh, you shut them off of it, right? You use the Trojan ability. Unlike the service stars, which you can just do whatever you want during every game, when you're trying to earn the coins, you're going to want to focus on specific things because earning a coin requires you to do a certain amount of things within one game. So if it's uh, spot a certain amount of people with your GPS spotting and get assists for it, 10 per coin, then you're going to have to do 10 in one game, not necessarily spread it out. Although you don't need to earn all 10 coins in one game, if that makes sense. Uh, that's how it is for all these coins, and sometimes that can be more difficult. So if you go, if you just focus on one thing, that'll help you guys unlock this. Next, we'll talk about the White Hat Syndicate, which will unlock you the Gold Boot. This actually requires you to get Fast Deploy version 5 as a prerequisite as well. And that won't be unlocked until your 14th Gold Service Star. So one more than the GPS spotting, which GPS spotting is another prerequisite for this one as well, but it'll take you a little longer to get. And then you can start working on the coins. Again, if you don't have these completely unlocked, if you don't have all the prerequisites unlocked and that assignment ready, then earning the coins before that is pointless. So keep that in mind. Focus on which coin you're getting again. The white hat coins that you'll want to work on is the... Uh, 
faster deploy, giving your spot your different squads faster deploy. Definitely recommend just targeting squads that have the most amount of people for that, as well as when you're playing with hacker mode in general. 10 squad upgrade coins, which you'll probably want to find longer lasting servers for that one so you have more time uh, because that's a pretty long cooldown to get out as well as 10 gps spotting coins the final hat syndicate then is the gray hat syndicate and this is like the first one will be unlocked by the time you get hacker assignment to complete when you have that 13th gold star both of these um, the point of interest version 5 and overclock version 5 will be unlocked to version 5 by the time you get to 10 and 12 gold service stars respectively. Once all of those prerequisites are complete, you can then work on the criteria. This requires the point of interest coins, which will probably be the hardest, getting the squads to actually pay attention to where you want them to go, um, marking that point of interest, as well as 10 hacker um, trace coins, sweeping over, showing all the high value targets, and the overclock coins, which you can just keep spamming out and shouldn't be too difficult. Fortunately, at least personally, I have found Hacker to be much more fun than playing Commander back in Battlefield 4. Having the closer quarters and so many different things to do, cooldowns, the things to actually interact with on the map um, definitely improves the, the gameplay, at least for myself. And at first, I was worried this was going to be even too overpowered with the amount of UAVs that you can put down, but the radius of it is so tiny that you really have to be strategic with all of your uses of a lot of these things and trying to coordinate the teams especially on pc it's actually pretty easy to use because you can use the mouse and everything now i have seen complaints of people on console wishing that they had uh the, the capabilities of the mouse and everything and it would have been so nice to see they don't actually have an app for this at least of right now for the uh tablets like they did back for commander mode in battlefield 4 you can be the commander on your tablet which i personally loved and would have been awesome to just be chilling on the couch watching a movie and earning some cash especially because you earn so much from playing in hacker mode but anyways hopefully maybe that's something they incorporate in the future i don't think there's too many people who are interested in that but I'm one of them, and this should be overall a pretty easy way to get some gold stuff. So be sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Click a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys have been playing hacker mode at all, or if you're just completely going to stay away from any of these gold uh, weapons, or if it's something you're going to be working on like myself. Thanks so much for watching. You can check out the previous video where I talk about how to unlock the ARM as well as showcase some awesome gameplay from that, or check out the recommended video if you want to see some top five Battlefield Hardline plays. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is SoMount64, signing out.